During your time with World of Warships, no matter if you are a casual player that just gets on when you can during the week, or if you're a hardcore veteran player that's been playing the game for well over 6-7 years at this point, there are several different types of players you will run into playing this game. A lot of them are quite helpful, especially if you are a newer player. Some of them, not so much. And one of them, in my opinion, is just about the most annoying player that can exist in not only this game, but in other games as well, and that is the Stat Jockey, and that is the subject of today's video. So if you find this video informational and entertaining, or if you find it helpful, or just downright enjoy it, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and all that jazz helps on the YouTube side of things. So the Stat Jockey, what brings this up? Well. I had a couple of matches over the past few weeks and some interactions with some players that just remind me how just how annoying this attitude and this behavior is. Now, nothing you're going to see in the background is any of those matches. It's just some vanilla gameplay that I picked up playing during this week, so don't go looking in the background for any particular violator of what I'm about to talk about here, or any stat jockey, I, I should say. So... A stat jockey is, and many of you have probably ran to someone that's under this umbrella, and believe it or not, there are a subset of, of stat jockeys in this one umbrella of players. So a stat jockey is someone that loves to bring up stats, in particular your stats or one of your fellow teammates' stats during a match. Now, before I get too much further, stats can be very, very useful and very, very helpful in gauging just how good of a player someone is. But stats can very much be flawed for several reasons. Anyone that's worked with numbers or statistics knows this. Now, stats can be most helpful if you're recruiting for a clan or if you're applying for a clan. They can give you a pretty good idea of the skill level of said player. The main stats usually brought up in conversation, especially with regards to clan battles and such, are win rate, average damage done, and average kills per match. Those are the three big individual stats. There's also another number called your PR, your personal rating. Uh, Wargaming themselves does not computate this number. There's a very popular third-party website called World Worship Stats that does this for you. And the PR is a number that's an amalgamation of you know various factors about your pr uh, player profile they're taking into consideration, and then this number is created. But we'll come back to those three main stats later on. Now, the most annoying instance of the stat jockey is the guy that either he dies early on or he makes it to the later stages of the game, and he's either running a mod like Matchmaking Monitor or he pulls up the World Worship stats page and he starts looking for the individual players on his team. He starts throwing out their individual stats in chat, usually in all chat because he's venting his frustration by attacking another player. He'll say, oh, you have a 46% win rate. No wonder we're not losing. Oh, or you only have 20 games in your ship. No wonder you're all the way doing this wrong or doing that wrong. Or he you know, attacks your average damage done or whatever figure attracts his attention on your player profile. This has to be one of the single most toxic and annoying players to have on your team or to run into in the game and keep in mind this is all happening in random battles not the competitive mode like ranked or clan battles but don't get me wrong it does definitely happen in ranked as well but in the random battles game mode the mode that's really all about just playing the game and trying to have as much fun as possible which again given current situations and development in the game can be a bit of a tall order in some cases but literally in the mode where you're just supposed to play the game have fun and well really learn how to play the game they're doing this and a lot of times it's even more annoying when it's the guy that of course you know like eats a wall of torpedoes at the beginning of the match and for some reason he sits around in game and just starts doing this it's like buddy we haven't had to wait for the match to be over with to play that same ship in quite a few patch cycles. Just just go on to the next battle already, right? And there's usually one or two reasons behind this. One, of course, they're incredibly frustrated that, well, 
this has happened to them. Maybe they've been on a loss streak. And, you know, I can't really blame some for being frustrated for being on a loss streak. We've all been there, right? It gets really, really old by the seventh or eighth game that you've lost in a row. And it seems like, well, what am I supposed to be able to do? And then, yeah, you start looking at the team stats. You're like, oh, okay, I see, you know. I got this person with this lower win rate on my team, but I keep getting these lower uh, win rate games. And the people that really care about the stats probably have, again, the mods that allow you to look this up in-game or displays this information for you in-game. But rather than keeping it to themselves, they, of course, have to share it with the world and try to, I guess, change, sh change blame or shift blame from themselves to whomever else for the reason why the match is a loss. The other instance is that they're like a turbo stat jockey or as the less, um, less uh, politically correct term, a stats whore, that all they care about is play or, or player stats, including their own stats too. So these are the guys that are watching their stats, trying to min-max their stats, right? They want a, their average damage to go up. They want their win rate to go up. And of course, when you know, you're losing a series of battles or even one battle that doesn't really help your cause out that much. So they, they vent their frustration out on everybody else and stats is everything to them. That's all they care about are their stats. And yeah, I mean, when you're attacking someone that, yeah, sure, maybe they don't have the most amount of games in the in, in the world, and but you know they're playing their ship and they're trying to do better, and you're doing this in random battles again, the, the, random battles. The matchmaking's random, and yeah, sure, sometimes it does certainly feel like it keeps throwing, you know, the lower win rate players all on the same team back to back to back to back. But I mean, randomness is randomness. So the whole reason why a lot of this is really unnecessary well it's unnecessary because it's just toxic right and it, it's it's just I, I find it incredibly rude to bring that up in a non-competitive mode like random battles or even in ranked too because ranked is really just like random battles with smaller team format and slight skill based matchmaking that doesn't really work but yeah no it's just, it just really is completely unnecessary but the reason why you know stats aren't everything because they don't really mean everything like i mentioned earlier sure they can give you a general ish idea about how well of a player the person you're looking at is but when you get down to it the numbers can be manipulated and often can either lie or don't really mean what you think they mean for example again one of the more looked at stats is average damage done you know, if this person is playing the game and they're good at playing the game, surely they're, they're doing well in terms of damage per battle, right? Sure, yeah, if you know how to play the game, you know how to aim your guns, you're good at torpedo boats or whatever have you, um, sure, your damage number should be rather quite high. However, it could also mean one of two things. One, you are someone that plays a lot of high tier games because higher tier ships have more hp but if someone has a lower average damage rate it could simply mean they just like playing you know more midder ish tier ships right maybe they only pop up to high tier every now and then and when you're dealing with ships that have like half of the amount of hp than those tier 9 and 10 and super ships right that's of course going to bring that number down doesn't necessarily mean they're a worse player right they just like playing it mid-tier rather than playing at high tier another thing about having a very high average damage is that and i've seen this myself with uh t-soft sure this guy can have some insane insanely high average damage numbers but guess what he's good at farming farming's cool in all in random battles right but like it doesn't win matches Farming is just, I found a ship by himself, I'm going to spam HE at him, and just farm all the freaking damage I can get out of this guy. That's cool if you spend 15 minutes farming down a GK, but guess what? If you're doing that in the corner of the map, and you don't have the caps that you need to win, you're not going to win, but you may have a high average damage, and I've seen that myself. A player had a very high, very, very high average damage number, and we, we took him in and ran some battles with him. It turns out in clan battles, he couldn't take directions. He didn't listen to the caller when, when we were saying, hey, you need to focus this guy down, focus this, this guy down. What's he doing? He's, he's farmed down the battleship that wants him to do exactly that in clan battles rather than be, you know, where he needs to be, doing what he needs to do in order to win the battle. So, 
yeah, that, that doesn't really mean they're an excellent player. Uh, win rate is another one that is definitely kind of screwy. Because, sure, win rate, ideally, if you are a good player, then you should be winning more battles. You know, theoretically true. But win rate gets exceptionally hard to move the more you play this game. Most players will probably still be learning the ropes by, you know, two-ish, three-ish thousand battles, depending upon how diverse of a player they are. If they just stick with one line for, like, their first 2,000 battles, they're going to know a lot about that one line, but they may not know how, let's say, the Star Wars with Destroyers. They may not know exactly how to cruise or how to battleship, how to sieve or how to submarine. You know, we've got, what, sieves, subs, battleships, cruisers, destroyers. We've got five class of ships in this game right now, so... Two or three thousand may sound like a lot, but across five classes, not really. So they may still be learning how to play the game, and some people learn slower than others, but they eventually do learn. But by the time you're up to like the five, six, seven thousand battles mark, it's really hard to change your win rate, right? And even someone like myself, that I, I don't even know how many battles I have in this game right now, I've been stuck at like a 54, 53.9% percentage three, uh, win, win rate for years now, right? So <laughs> it's definitely something that, sure, you can become a better player and maybe you just had a really bad run back in the day and your win rate stuck there because you played the game so much, right? So that's something that can be not entirely accurate as well. But again, you can use it to definitely get a journalist idea of how good a player is. A more important number that's you know kind of harder to manipulate is definitely you know the amount um, average amount, a average kills per match. That's something that's a more that's something that's a little bit more indicative of how good of a player you are. Because obviously, if you're getting kills, be it you're finishing off ships, which you might think, well, that's just kill stealing. Well, look, when you're looking for someone to do competitive stuff with. You want the ship to be sunk regardless of whoever sunk it on your team, right? So that's something that's a little bit more indicative of, of actual skill level than just you know win rate, average but average damage done, and all that jazz. But again, obviously, if someone's just kill stealing all the time, then yeah, that's that's something else. And the other thing too about the stat site is that it just takes random battles into consideration when it comes to your average damage and your win rate. So let's say you buy a ship for rank, like a Turpitz. Turpitz is excellent at tier 8 rank because again it's a smaller format, much closer in. Turpitz is an excellent brawler. So you buy it for that. And you take it into you know just some random battles to get the to get the hang of it right. And then you spend the rest of the, your time with your turpits, usually playing rank. Because I can't really blame it for not wanting to play a turpits in random battles too much anymore. But again, rank when it's a smaller format, closer in, that's turpits' is, you know, prime position, right? And then you do take it into random battles. If someone's complaining how you have like a 42 or like a 46 or maybe even a 37% win rate in turpits. But it's like, well, I've got 20 battles with it in random battles. But I have hundreds of battles in ranked, right? So, yeah, you can definitely run into th that situation there, too. And, of course, some people will also like to brag about how they have this stats in that ship, this stats in that ship, but you'll look at their stats, and it's like, oh, you have five battles in the ship, and you had five really good battles in that ship. And you have the tech line version of the ship that has a similar play style, right? So you know exactly how to play the ship because you've practiced on the, on the tech line version, bought the premium version, and now you can you know boost your numbers up, or vice versa too. Like you, you bought the turpits, learn how to play on the turpits, then you grind out the Bismarck, and they both play exceptionally similar. So you know what you're doing now with the Bismarck, so you can use that to boost your numbers. So guys, stats aren't everything. Don't be the toxic guy that likes to brag about his stats or put people down because of their stats. It's all a game. It's all meant to be in good fun. And there's no reason to make it more miserable for anybody else, right? So that is the message of today, dear viewers. If you enjoyed this video, again, please make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, all of that jazz. Hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. And hope to catch you guys in the next one.